Jessie from Jessie Shelf and today I have a book tag for you guys. I'm going to be doing the Doctor Strange book tag. Now this tag was originally created by Grace from G Swizzle Books. She also tagged me in it. Grace is such a great booktuber. She loves Marvel so no wonder she made this book tag. I don't know much about Doctor Strange. I have yet to see the movie. Yes, Christ, do not kill me. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's not going to stop me from doing this tag. And anyone I tag will be linked down below. So let us begin. Question one, is Doctor Stephen Strange a character that was really unlikable but you found teachable? I am going to get a lot of heat for this, but you know what? I find Hermione Granger extremely, extremely unlikable. I find her annoying. I find her a know it all -y. But then there's times where I really do like her and appreciate her. So I'm thinking Hermione Granger is definitely teachable. I'm only like three books into the Harry Potter series and I'm seeing a shift in her already. So yeah. Question two is Christine Palmer. And this is a side character that stays loyal to the protagonist even when the protagonist acts up. And I'm going to have to go with August from The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. When August and Kate get together, August is the calm, composed one. Like, make sure everybody is safe. Make sure we do this correctly. Make sure my parents are okay. Make sure we're okay. And Kate's just like, bah, all over the place, crazy, just wants to go wild. She's got an anger problem for sure. And August, he sticks by her through those times. And they basically get what needs to be done in this book. Question three is called The Ancient One and this is a wise fictional mentor. I'm gonna have to go with Taylor's Dad from Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. Now you don't really find out her dad is a mentor to the end of the book but he writes Taylor a letter that just totally like crushed me um and it's so wise and it just it gives Taylor lots of really good life advice for the re for the rest of her life, I guess. Yeah, so yeah. Next is a question based on the character Baron Mordo, and this is a fictional character that puts their motives and beliefs before friendships. I really didn't know who to pick for this, but I'm just gonna go with Katniss from The Hunger Games. Um, I feel like Katniss just wants the greater good for the nation. Um, Panem, Panem, I, sorry, I haven't read Hunger Games in a while. And I feel like she does put a lot of that before her friendships, especially with Gail and Peter. Question five is based on Achilles, and this is a character that um, was good and kind of lost their way. I'm going to have to go with Tamlin from A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. don't have my copy right now. I've lent it out. But yes, I feel like Tamlin really had really good motives in the beginning. And then by the end of this book, it was like, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? And then when we see him in A Court of Mist and Fury, it's like, really, who are you? And you realize how bad Tamlin is. And it's like, ah, like, oh my god. So, yeah. Question six is based on the character Wong. And this is an underrated character that is really important in the story. And I'm going to go with Magnus Bane from The Mortal Instruments. <sighs> okay, so he's not really underrated. He's not underliked. People love Magnus Bane. I love Magnus Bane, but you know what? He's a side character that I feel like doesn't get as much love as, you know, Clary, Jace, Isabel, Alec, and Simon because he's a side character. But he's so important in this book, especially in this last book. And if you've read this book, you know why and you know what I'm talking about. But yes, Magnus Bane, for sure. And lastly, we have a question based on the time stone. And this is pick a scene from a book that you would like to manipulate or change or take out. I'm going to have to go with one of the last scenes in Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. So I'm going to spoil Outlander here a little bit. I'm going to keep the book up while I talk about it. And then when I'm done talking about it, I will put the book down. So mute the video if you don't want to be spoiled. There is a scene in this book that is just strange to me. And it's at the end. And it's when... Jamie and Claire are at like the cabin after they broke him out of prison and he's in really rough shape and he kind of tells a story about what Randall did to him and I don't want to like really explain it because it uh, grossed me out and Claire does this really weird thing one night she kind of pretends to be Randall and she's talking about slitting his throat and it's just kind of like why? Why is that happening? Why is she doing that? This is the man you apparently love. Like, I didn't get it. I didn't understand why that scene was in there. Maybe it was to make Jamie stronger, but I was just kind of like, ugh. Like, it really was gross to me. I, and I just, I wish, I wish they could take it out, I guess. It was just weird. It was a weird scene. I don't know. And that completes my Doctor Strange book tag. Thank you so much, Grace, for creating this tag and tagging me in it. It was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one.